What's up guys and welcome to the first week of our Christmas giveaway. Bianca's joining us remotely, she's um, up at work at the moment, so hey Bianca. Hi guys, how are you going? I uh, hope everyone's doing really well and yeah, you have to excuse uh, the lovely barren room I'm in. <laughs> Perks of FIFO but uh, yeah, at least I can still be here, so I'm really excited for this. Yeah, so I've got Bianca in my ear so I can hear, hear what you're saying and we're going to talk back and forth about a few of the entries to this competition. And I just want to say straight out of the gate that the quality of the entries has been absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. Like we've just been in fits of laughter reading through all your comments over the past week. It's fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. I've had a lot of fun checking the comments nearly daily. Just been, even when I'm up at work, I'm just like, oh, check this comment out. Or yeah, it's been, we've been really looking forward to doing these videos and uh, yeah, I'm psyched. Let's get straight into it. Absolutely. So really creative entries, guys. Fantastic work. So basically this week, we're going to be giving away our first two items that we reviewed last week in that Christmas gift ideas video. And that of course is the hammock and also the shovel. So how this is basically going to work is the hammock was Bianca's idea. So I've picked my favorite two, two entries for the competition. I'm going to read those out to Bianca and let her pick the winner. Then for the shovel, which was one of my ideas, Bianca's picked her favorite two comments. She'll read those out and then I'll pick the winner from that. So let's get straight into it. So I've got a couple of entries pinned here for, for the hammock. So I'll read those out to you now, Bianca, and you can pick your favorite from those two. All right, let's go. Okay, so the first one is from a user called Sebazoid, and his entry is that a hammock would work great as a drag parachute for when my 32-year-old Land Rover's brakes fail on me. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a... Um... Oh, I like that. That's really relatable, um, but not using a hammock as a parachute um but we, uh, <laughs> yeah he stops the car all the time yeah that's, that's, well that is my brakes what are you talking about um yeah, yeah no that's uh really relatable with old cars hey like the brakes are just terrible uh, i remember daniel's old mitsubishi pajero was uh scarily oh, yeah. bad um <laughs> it's home hard for that one that, that one you could literally like slam the brakes on and it would just be like but to but to but to do a stop <laughs> I'll stop not good in emergency situations at all. <laughs> Don't rush me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm getting there. It's like an old man. So, uh, all right, so good work on that entry, Sebazoid. The yeah, second one I've got for you is from Future Grey Nomads, and their entry says that. I need the hammock as the sewn together potato bags. Just don't cut it for the kids now that they're older. <laughs> so very creative and uh, very arts and crafty for getting the original yeah. potato sacks together as a makeshift hammock. That's, um, I'm actually feeling like itchy right now on my back just thinking about the lion. <laughs> the bloody, uh, you know, I'm, I'm imagining like the uh, old Hessian bags for the potato sacks. The like classic like Hessian a hammock sacks. Out of Hessian, yeah. Like, oh, can you imagine how scratchy that would be? <laughs> um, that, no, that's actually really clever. Oh, damn. So now I have to pick one of those two. Um, yeah. Look, they're both really, really good. Um, oh, do I go the brakes or the potato sacks? Hmm. I think I'm going to have to go with the brakes. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with the brakes. I find that uh, that's really relatable, not just for four driving, but pretty much of any old car, but definitely with four drives. Um, but yeah, no, very well done. So well done. You just went, won yourself a, uh, a brand new hammock. And I hope you enjoy it. I'm actually kind of jealous. And Daniel, I want to have it for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, um, I was half expecting Bianca to chuck a comment in saying, yeah, I could do it with a hammock. <laughs> <laughs> I should have done it. So uh, yeah, well done. I love it. So mm. got a few special mentions here as well. I just wanted to give a special shout out to Crump7, who says, I'd like the hammock as a backup for someone to sleep when the missus kicks me out, kicks me out of the house. <laughs> the hard doghouse floor is starting to hurt my back. Ah, that, uh, that sounds a bit too detailed to be made up, so I'd say, uh, yeah, you've definitely been <laughs> spending a few nights out in the doghouse floor, so. All I can say is, treat her better, and then you won't have that problem. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Words of wisdom from Bianca. Yeah, actually, quite a lot of these entries were related to like um, getting in trouble with the missus and needing the, the product the to get house. them out of the situation. Or... <laughs> yeah. And also another special mention to the funk in CT, whose entry was just hammock, exclamation <laughs> mark. Good, good one. Hammock. <laughs> I had a good luck when I read that one. Hammock. Like, oh my God, it's a hammock. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we'll move on to the shovel next. Yeah, I was about to say, it must be my turn to pull up the ones that I chose. So, again, great entries, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a tough time choosing my favourite two, but without further ado, we'll go straight into it. So, you ready, Daniel? I'm ready. You are ready. Right. So, my first one is from John Francis, and he said, 
I think the shovel would be handy as I tend to push my wife's buttons and she tells me I'm digging my own grave. So I figured I may as well do it with style as quick as possible. <laughs> I like that one. That's a good I like one. how very, it's a full commitment. You know, you're not trying to get out of the doghouse or with anything. You're just like, yep, I'm here. I may as well do it quicker and in style with this kick ass shovel. So, uh, my second one was from, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. It's a bunch of letters and numbers, but uh, either O U A E X or zero U A E X. Uh, I don't know what O-E-X. that means. But well done. Yeah. Um, so, Maybe it's number player. <laughs> this one was. Uh, <laughs> A dog recently defecated on my lawn and my partner told me to grab the shovel and toss it over the fence. So I did that. Now I'm down a shovel and I still have this package in my backyard. And then my favorite bit. Yep. So the camping shovel would be great. I guess it would be a groundbreaking present. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. Love it. Actually, I think I remember seeing this one come through and just being <laughs> in full appreciation of the addition of the pun at the end. I have <laughs> and to. And the twist uh, in the yeah, story a earlier. A bit of a disclaimer <laughs> and some context for you guys. Um, Daniel has a, a an obsession with puns. <laughs> He's uh, I am constantly doing the eye rolls and the groans, um, which apparently signifies a very good pun. Um, That's how you know yes. you've done a good pun. You want that that nice groan that's like oh yeah <laughs> that's a good one that's a that's a tick all right so, all right, oh, so tough one to pick out of those two digging with style or are you gonna go uh the Dig groundbreaking style. dog defecation oh, <laughs> i do like the plot twist of uh us to grab the shovel and you know chuck it over the fence but chuck the shovel over the fence and still got this present on me front lawn i'm gonna have to give it to that one yep o a e u x Something like yeah, that. We'll put the O U A E X. Nice work, especially for the uh, addition of the cheeky pun at the end. That really just like put it over the line for me. So, congratulations. <laughs> this shovel is officially all yours. It's the exact same style that we use. Like, fan, fantastic. Really, really yeah. useful bit of kit. So, we'll reply to your winning comment, get your postage information, or get in touch with you one way or another. Get that sent out to you, hopefully, in time for Christmas. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, well done. Got a couple and, of special um, mentions actually for the shovel I as well. I was about to say, I, I had some extras that I wanted to mention because, yeah, I, I yep. liked them all. So, uh, another one of my favorites was uh, Liam Southgate. He said, I'm in the house with the miso, so I definitely need the shovel to dig myself out. And also, my PJ Ranger loves to get bogged, so it will help with that as well. Peace out. Oh, I'd like to fact check <laughs> that one. PJ Rangers don't get bogged. That sounds, that sounds <laughs> impossible. <laughs> no, you just haven't tried hard enough. Maybe in two-wheel drive. That, that's your problem, Liam. You just not put it in four-wheel drive. They'll lock the hubs in and then you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, awesome work. All the entries were so, so creative. Make sure you keep them coming in too for our remaining four products. So next week, we're going to be giving away this USB rechargeable lantern and also our XTM tire deflator. So you've got one mm-hmm. week or maybe six days to try and get your entries in by next Sunday. So we've got a bit of time to do another video and um, pick the winner of those two. And then of course, the final week, we'll be giving away our Swiss Army knife and also the cast iron frying pan. So keep your entries coming in for those four. Um, yeah, I guess, thanks for watching. Next week, Bianca's gonna be here in person, which will be good. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, thanks so much again. Daniel's already said it, but thanks for all the entries. Um, as I said, we had a lot of fun reading through them and it's really getting the Christmas merriment going and I love it. It's great. I love the energy. So keep it up. I want to see some really awesome entries for the next couple of weeks. So keep them coming. Look forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. Stay creative, guys. Look forward to reading through your, your entries in the coming weeks. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Happy camping. <laughs>